it's me, Mrs. Stewart, and today we're going to be doing a pop art tutorial. Many people think of Andy Warhol when they think of pop art. Andy Warhol is super famous for his 32 Campbell Soup Camps. This bold, vivid art style often borrows imagery from pop culture and also consumer culture. Many pop artists brought attention to daily items, things you would see every day. Now, for this project, I thought to myself, Mrs. Stewart, what is something you could use as inspiration for your own project? Perfect! More perfect! Well, this is getting ridiculous. So, at this point, we just need to channel our inner pop artist. For this project, you will need scissors, a permanent marker, and some type of glue. A pencil, a ruler, or something with a straight edge. Next, you will need cardboard that you have laying around your house. Colorful is best. Measure your background layer. I decided on five by six inches. Trace with a permanent marker or pencil. You can decide on a different size background if you prefer. After cutting out your rectangular background, start drawing the roll of toilet paper. I start with an oval shape, connect the sides, and mirror that curved line for the bottom. Draw a wavy line on the top and bottom to create a sheet of toilet paper. Moving on, I am now adding thickness to my toilet paper roll. This will make it appear as if it's popping out of the page. Pop art, get it, pun intended. For this project, you don't have to use toilet paper as your focal point. Choose any everyday item. Quick tip, adding one extra sheet of toilet paper will give it a little extra dimension. I am just tracing half of the roll here to show that sheet of toilet paper. You can add as many layers of cardboard as you want. I have three all together. The next layer is the cloud shape. Trace the background rectangle onto another piece of cardboard. Draw the shape of your cloud and leave some room for your background to peek through. Quick tip, you can use a pencil for this part, but I decided to go straight to the marker. We will repeat the same process for a new layer, only this layer will look like a starburst. Notice how the starburst extends off the edge in my example. Starbursts can be tricky, so I recommend using a pencil first. When I picture pop art, I think of bold outlines and shapes. The starburst and cloud are just two options. Try layering different shapes on your own art piece. Quick tip to make your work clean, tidy, and stand out is to outline in bold black marker. I used a chisel tip permanent marker, but if you don't have that, use what you have around. The whole point of this activity is to reuse things that you have at your house, so if there are supplies that you don't have that you see in this video, just find something that works for you. Now, I just happen to have Mod Podge sitting around at my house, but maybe you don't, so here are some alternatives. You could use white school glue, stick glue, a glue gun, or even tape. The placement of your focal point in your art piece is super important, so I've decided to put mine in the bottom right corner instead of just in the center. That's a great way to make your work look a little bit more polished and dynamic. Now for those of you who have paint at home, here is another option for you. Although in pop art we see very bright, vivid colors, I've decided to tint my colors by adding white. The background layer consists of red, yellow, and white. For the cloud layer, I've chosen to mix blue with a whisper of red. A whisper isn't really a quantitative word, but I love using it anyway. Whisper. This is my favorite layer and color, the Starburst. We will be mixing blue, yellow, and white. And there you have it, 
your pop art project is complete.